Okay, so what we're doing here, say hi, G. What we're doing here, yeah, keep your feet on that so it stays even. Um, what we're doing here is positioning a runner for the staircase that has two different sizes, but the runner has one size. So here's a typical size runner, 30 inches. Let me, let me go to t-shirt cam, t-shirt cam actively. Hopefully this picks everything up. So we have four inches on this side and we have four inches on this side. Now where it becomes interesting and some people have a question about, rightly so, is it comes over to here, whereas we're going to have one inch next to this molding. So that's where we start being creative and possibly cheating it a little bit over. Yes, between the spindles and the wall is the focal point. That's the decorator correct way that you never... Uh, but I don't like not ever varying from things because your eye will tell you what's right and what's wrong. All right, let's take it up the stairs. Go ahead, grab that and drag it straight up. Good man. Take it straight up. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Hug that side for the one inch again. Keep hugging, keep hugging. Stop, stop. I want to see these stairs and that at the same time. So here we go. Actually, keep it in a straight line. Come down a few more stairs so you can hold it comfortably. You want it right here? You comfy? Sit down. Well, whatever. Sit down. No, that's good. Oh, geez. I wanted you to hold it with your hands like you were. I want it straight. Come up more. Sit down. Relax. There you go. There? One inch. One inch. That's about one inch. Okay, good. So, here it is what it looks like on this side with four inches. Boom, that's four, and boom, that's four. Now, that is awkwardly close on the right-hand side. Keep it straight, my friend. One inch. So that's awkwardly tight on the right-hand side. And I don't get the solid feeling over here like I am with this wall. So I would say we should cheat this over. Ready, go. Stop there. Go a little bit more to your right. My right, I mean. Okay, boom. That makes it feel a little bit more balanced. It's just these little subtle changes showing a little bit of, follow me, follow me, G. Go back to like an inch and a half. Stop there. All right, so where are we at now? That's showing enough wood where it's not awkward. And this doesn't look too sizably out of balance with that. I feel like at one inch, that's crowding it too much. You can go to the post, Jay. Post. Center with that. It's still basically an inch and a quarter. So a very subtle tweak on this three and a half. Inch and a half, three and a half. Let me take a better look at this. I hear what you're saying. This post can be used as a focal point also to some degree. Slide down to me some. Just let it slide down. I want it to stay full. Come on, way over. Over more. Get back to the inch and a half. This has to go over a lot. Follow me. Keep going. Okay, stay there. Three and three quarters. Four. Yeah, so just the little tiniest tweak is what's ne what's necessary on this. All right, I'm gonna send this video to the boss and see what she thinks. Stay there for a second, please. I want to step these down. You got it firmly? Okay, let it start sliding to me.
cool step on that again. Well, the back of this is so slippery that it keeps moving. But that's what our final placement should look like, in my opinion. It's only a change of a quarter of an inch, so hardly even worth discussing. All right, so here's what it looks like allowing an equal span on both sides and then it comes over to here and well you have that much larger but if you want to use this as the focal point there's something to be said for that there's no rights and wrongs there's just typical all right so let's figure out what we could do with this excess piece of carpet. Um, the obvious idea is to have a, what's the most obvious choice? It's not coming to me right away. We could have a nice substantial square doormat that would fill this space and come to about uh, I don't know where a good place to, to keep it. I don't know where a good size to keep it um, symmetrical would be. But we could do that. And, well, it's not about protecting the floor because this rug is way more expensive than the, than the floor maintenance. So that's one option, is having a... going from molding to molding, big doormat, about this size, about that size, that size, looks a little big though. We could tweak that idea. And then another idea is to start utilizing the whole piece. Doesn't look like that door is gonna clear it. Um, to utilize this whole piece, we could start centering it so focally it looks. Centered on this. How's that look? something like that and it would be it would keep that size wood over here and that size wood over here something like this it would cut in over here like that that's how that top part would look boom and then that's how this would look heading over here I could use tape to lay it out if we wanted to explore that option but something like this idea over there so we would square it off allowing for a kind of elongated L shape. So it would be cut, cut here, and then cut here, and that would that would flop down over there. So there's a couple ideas how to utilize the um, excess if we want to. All right, so here's the completed runner. Ta-da!